Welcome to the Google Cloud Security Showcase, a special web series where we'll focus on security use cases that customers can solve with Google Cloud. My name is Anoush, and I'm a product manager at Google Cloud. Today, we'll be walking through one of the top questions we get from customers. How can I simplify the management of private certificate authorities, or CA for short? Enterprise organizations are frequently surprised at the extent of extra work they must do having bought CA technology to bridge the gap between technology and their organizational and business goals. A globally scalable CA is often hard to deploy and manage because it requires deep expertise that many organizations do not have. Also, traditional CA solutions are not well suited for new cases such as microservices and DevOps because they're often inflexible, don't scale well, and are not integrated into the deployment and access control infrastructure commonly used within the cloud services. Lastly, traditional CAs are expensive with high capex and infrastructure, hardware, and software licensing in addition to expensive ongoing costs. With Google Cloud CA service, you can solve these challenges with a service that simplifies deployment and management of private CAs and automates time-consuming, risky, and error-prone infrastructure tasks. More specifically, you can create a private CA in minutes versus weeks that it takes to deploy a traditional CA and focus on higher value projects by offloading time-consuming tasks like hardware provisioning, infrastructure security, software deployment, high availability configuration, disaster recovery, backups, and more for the cloud. In addition to deployment and management simplification, CA service can be tailored to your needs. You can configure custom CAs and certificates, automate common tasks with APIs, and integrate with your existing systems. And finally, you can have peace of mind knowing that your CA service is highly available, scalable, backed by an SLA, auditable, and ready to help you achieve compliance with advanced hardware and software security controls. Now, let's see how to get started with CA service using the Cloud Console. First, you would need to enable CA service API by navigating to Certificate Authority Service tab under Security section. I've already done that for this demo. After that, you can start creating a CA. Start by deciding whether this is a root or a subordinate CA. Next, you can pick the CA location, and pick US West 1. To simplify going through these steps, we also provide pre-filled CA configuration for commonly used settings, for example, server authentication certificates. You can choose those under select CA configuration. Next step is to configure the CA subject name. Let's pick foo for organization. For the CA command name, let's pick test root CA1. We pick the same name for resource ID, which uniquely identifies this resource um, in GCP. Next step is to configure the CA key size and algorithm. In this version, you can point to a pre-configured KMS or a Cloud HSM key that allows read and write access to a CA service account. In an upcoming release, you will be able to create these keys within CA service without having to create a KMS key beforehand. We've already created an HSM key and will provide path to that key to the CA service. Go ahead and do that here. Next step is to configure reputation information. First, you will need to enable Creel distribution. By default, this option is turned off since you can rely on short-lived certificates to remediate the risk. By default also, we create a GCS bucket for storing the creels. In an upcoming release, you can create your own bucket here. Next, you can add a label to enable easy grouping of your cloud resources. Last step is to review the summary and create the, the CA. You can see the newly created CA under the CA Manager tab as is shown here. Note that this UI is still in preview and will receive updates and upcoming release. In addition to the Cloud Console, you can manage CAs via APIs and gcloud command line as well. Now that the CA is created, let's see how we can obtain a certificate. You can leverage simple descriptive RESTful APIs to acquire and manage certificates without being an expert. You can also use the console. Let's see how that looks like in a Cloud Console. First, you will need to select the CA that will issue the certificate. Let's pick the CA that we picked, we created in the previous step. 
Next, navigate to Request Certificate. Click on Provide CSR, which stands for Certificate Signing Request. You can use any tool, including OpenSSL, to create a CSR. I have already created that CSR. I'm just going to simply copy paste it here. You can also pick a name for the certificate or leave it empty and we'll pick a name for you. The certificate is now signed and issued. You can view the issue certificate by navigating uh, to the issue certificate tab and clicking on the three dots here to download either the certificate or the certificate chain. As you can see, it is now much easier and faster to create and manage private CAs with our new service. Thank you for watching. Please visit cloud.google.com/security to learn more.